Green on Friday. Good, good. The opportunity for oh, you to have free grass, go. you must attend school all week. Be here all week. First grade competition. If we are the highest attendance, we'll have a pizza party at the end of the month. So come be a part of everything that's going on right here at Lumberton High School as we get set. Tonight, the Panther baseball team plays at home against Stringer. There'll be a JV game at 5. Come out and show your support. This is their second division game here at the home. I'm going to invite you to stand as J.R.S. Robinson, the student council treasurer. Yeah, treasurer. Yeah. Your lungs. Your lungs. Your lungs. Your lungs. Make sure you breathe, crack. I don't think this color decided to do it. Not <laughs> a guy, individual, liberty, and justice for all. Don't tell me, Casey. I was waiting for him to. Don't tell the president. Okay. All right. Gang, here we go. Okay. Earpieces, right? All right. Now. Don't lay this down, but you can lay it over your neck so that your earpieces stay clean. Remember, ear infections hurt, right? right? Okay. This is the bell, okay? All right. Don't do this while it's in your ear. It can rupture your eardrum, right? You gotta hit it really hard though, just tapping it. See this little part right here? You wanna push on this so that you can get it really here well, and when you have the earpieces way deep close to your eardrum, because these are like, Cheapo, cheapo, $30, not $110. You got to really listen, so keep the room quiet. Okay, all right, so we want to take his pulse first, right? Now I'm going to put the clock up here. Okay, so here we go. We, we want him to relax. We want his, like he's holding a ball or something. Make, a, make that. Okay, all right. And so this little pocket right here is where that brachial should be located, radial because this is the <coughs> radius, right? The bone, the radius. Oh, shit. Bad. <laughs> and once you feel it, once you feel that nice pulse, what you're gonna do is you're gonna count. So I'm gonna count for 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and I'm going to do it times 4. So 22 times 4 is um, 88. Yeah. So 88 beats per minute. He's kind of like like not relaxed right now because I'm touching him. And anytime you lay your hands on a patient, they're going to be weird like that. I'm very chill. And Try even me. more weird when you have a white <laughs> coat on, right? I'm very chill. Try me. Okay, so that's going to be our pulse, right? Now, um, once you're done taking a pulse, then you want to get the blood pressure. I thought I was going to see this one from my camera now. Okay, I'm sorry. And you're going to record that result in your table. Why the heck the folks? Where it says... Pulse rate radial. Now, they also want us to do the carotid. Okay? So here's his jaw, right? This is his jaw. Okay? I know, I'm just checking. And right here, if you get kind of get them to in this spot right here. Okay, don't talk, don't talk. There's his bolt his 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 trachea, right? So off to the side. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you want to count it there also, right? You may you may have to feel around until you feel it, but if you find his trachea, right, um, right below his jaw, there should be a little pocket area, so you might have to feel around until you really get the good kill him. Count that. You can go for 15 seconds or you can go for 30, and then write that down, his, um, his carotid um, pulse. Now, don't worry about using the stethoscope, guys. Just put not applicable because we just don't have time for that. Then you're going to add those two together, divide by two, and get an average, okay? 
All right, we'll take it the wrong way. And then you're gonna do a second person. Okay, now, blood pressure. Yours is right there? Yes, you're gonna have to fill around. Put it on me, Doc. Okay, so you want bare skin, and so what we're gonna have to do is ask him to push his sleeve up. Sounds okay. Like now, I, I chose his right arm, but you don't have to use the right arm. It's just that because I'm right handed, it's easier for me to work across by using his right arm. All right, so this is my school. Notice the hoot owls, right? I mean, it's kind of really. Yeah, and I can, yeah, look how cool that is, right? Okay, so there's the. Um, what you're going to be reading your little meter and it starts at zero and it goes 20 up um, and it skips right 20 skip to the 30 40 50 60 makes sense you only have numbers on every other like 20 40 right counting by tens but those lines in between are tens so here's zero 10 20 30 40 does that make sense please tell me it does okay and all the way to 300 and let's hope that nobody in here has um a value that's super duper high right Okay. Now, please don't discover I have like diabetes or something. This part, <laughs> all right, this is the this is all Velcro, and so here is the non-sticky part, and here's the little the little sticky part, and it sticks to itself. Okay. All right. So this is we, we could really could do a really big person, right? Not like that. Right. But they make them in different sizes, and this particular one is um is a hold on, let me see where it says. Adult size, see adult size. Um, but they do have extra large. And what if you have a patient that has no arms and legs, like a quadriplegic, and they've been amputated? Then you're going to have to use an extra large and hopefully use your thigh. Um, and if not, you're going to have to use a stethoscope in order to take it from somewhere else. Or, um, I'm, I'm sorry, what is that one? Anyway, okay. All right, so roll their arm over. Here's the anti-cubital fossa area. The way the arteries run remember the big one comes down the, the brachial and then the radial and the ulnar so the radial and then the ulnar so they split off and become smaller arteries so about right here and you can feel it and if you get them to bend so you can really feel that artery okay and so we're going to want to put our bell in there. Us nurse lady. Oh. She's all over Are you coming to help us? Oh, it would be great because then you could do one set of kids and I could do the other. Can I come right back? You can. Okay. Oh, thank you. Otherwise, it would take us days. Okay. I'll be right back. Sure. Yay! Y'all get to have the nurse. Okay, guys? Lucky. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. Um. All right, hold this for a second. I'm gonna hand out your um, <laughs> pass out your lab form. Hand me the torture device. Please don't do that. And look, you can't slide it right at all. How do I let that arrow? I think it's a um, valve. Right. Who's that one? This is one that the nurse did. Right. Okay. Okay. Cool. I think you're pulling that to 150. I think it's 150. I think it's I think I wrote it down yesterday. 150. Is our air set cool? Oh, y'all stay cool. Look at this. It's swanky. Okay. One, two. Right there. Okay, make sense? So, put the arrow on the artery. Okay. Blood pressure be that. 
All right, now to talk, I'm going to keep my off for just a second. But you're going to take your bell, go ahead and put it right there, and take your index finger and push down. Okay? And then you're going to use your, if you're right-handed, right, they, they like you to do it like this. But I'm used to doing it like this, so I don't care how you do it. But you're gonna, you need to be able to open and close. Make sense? Okay. All right. So we're gonna watch our meter, and right now it's on zero because we've got the bladder deflated. You with me? Okay. Then you're going to, yeah, the bag that holds the air. I would bring it up to about 160. Okay. And then you're going to slow, listen, you're going to slowly let air off while you're listening for the first heartbeat. Don't talk. I'm going to listen. And then the last heartbeat. And as soon as you hear the last heartbeat, go ahead and let the air out. Okay? Now, y'all look at his hand real quick. Look, look, look. Look, look, look. Look at the color of his hand. Look, quick. Okay? All right, see how gray it got? Okay. So, we want to let his arm rest, let blood get to this part before we do it again, okay? So until this color, color is back, don't do that again to him, okay? All right. Now, what, guys, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to really listen for that heartbeat, okay? The first time you hear it and the last time, you're going to mark what pressure you're at. Make sense? So we're doing it on ourselves and we're No. Do it on two different people. Don't, don't do it on yourself. Do it on two different people. Each person. So you're taking somebody, you're taking two people's pulses and two people's pressures. The same two, listen, the same two people's pulses, the same two people's pressures. Okay? All right. Um. Who sits right here? Emily. Okay. Uh, no, I sit right here. All right. Thank you. Y'all give him a hand. Yay. Okay. I have a hot camera to log in. I can do it. Emily, see. Let's stop it.